longitudinal enforcement now we can see the shear enforcement display design info so here in the output we can see longitudinal enforcement repair percentage apply so here in each member in power percentage is showing the software basically show the enforcement at three locations in each member one third and one third to two third two third two and at three by third position so let's check share enforcement apply so here is showing zero zero okay so at the end of the design there are two checks verify all members pass so it's showing all members have been passed successfully the the last condition is verify analysis and design sections so here analysis and design section differ for 16 concrete members do you want to select them yes so here are the members which are different analysis section are different and design section are different so for that purpose we have to make some changes so i am going to make some changes like i am applying here let's check what are the members here somebody so currently here is a beam 450 by 600 so i am going to apply here a stiffer member so i have selected and i am going to select the center one so that my perimeter beams become stiffer so i am going to assign frame section property i am going to assign 600 by 1100 apply okay the rest of the beams are in the under auto select beam so but the perimeter beams are now in the condition of uh, uh, high stiffer members now i am again going towards the analysis and design first i have run the analysis and then going back towards design here now only four members are differ from the design and analysis section it is taking time but don't worry after performing uh, reiterations uh, re it will show now we again going towards the the verify uh, checking verify all members have been passed okay verify that all the design analysis section are same so now analysis and design sections match for all concrete members so for study purpose i have just shown that we can change the arrangements to pass our members so that's how we did so now uh, after designing uh, we can may study more like uh, i am going to check this member by right clicking so uh, its location uh, for example the member is designed against this combination and the bottom steel is this and shear enforcement no needed so let's check in this summary so this is the beam this is a section this is section properties b h and material property ec24 and fc prime fy what are the design code parameters and here is design movement so uh, the positive movement is 1948 kilonewton meter so against that the positive rebar is 6925 millimeter square so any person calculate the number of rebars like uh, he, he may select number 25 bar number 32 bar and after that he can cal calculate the number of bars similarly in the shear and in the torsion so there is no requirement of shear in this beam so definitely we will provide the minimum steel of shear enforcement sex checks in any other member so in this member again in this member summary so there are many members in which shear enforcement is not required let's check in the element in the in the 
uh, in the column member summary so here in the column again only the fraction reinforcement is present so okay so we have successfully anal analyzed and designed our members now we will go towards the uh, designing of the slab and of the foundation so now for the designing of the slab and the foundation we will export the slab app into the safe software here is csa safe software so now i am going to do export the in the safe so uh, first of all for the designing of the foundation i will export um, all the column slots etc live okay like the load combinations okay okay so here foundation and slab design first of all foundation design only here foundation save now i will export now uh, up till now i have only export uh, exported the foundations so now i am export the slabs basically put uh, all the story level to while export story level 2 on that story there is all the slabs are present so i have selected all the loads i am going clicking ok so i will again create new folder for slab design click ok in this i will slab save after exporting now i will close my model and open the CSI safe software after opening the software I will uh, expo uh, import save model so basically my safe model is present in the folder for foundation design so this is the exported uh, the location where i have exported the, our foundations so i am clicking open selecting the model so this is the grid system as we have seen in the etap software so at each column foundation we will provide the sports uh, uh, foundation slabs etc for example I am going to define the material so here is already defined CSA I am going to define new material I call 28 megapascal of concrete concrete material here is modulus of elasticity here is a 30 uh, megapascal I am going to define 28 okay okay after defining I will define slab section slab there is already defined I will just modify it it's a 200 I will define 600 millimeter foundation depth slab so select the material 28 megapascal okay okay uh, after that I will just draw the slab uh, here is a, a quick draw slab areas here is again quick draw area around it points I will select quick draw slabs uh, I think this second option is this option is good I will select 2 meter width by 2 meter length foundations now I am going to draw here one foundation one foundation here 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 and here so 
these are the foundations at where our columns are present we can check the loads for example i am clicking here and right click here i can check the loads the loads are successfully imported from the etap software mm, dead above dead live okay so after defining i am now i am going to define the boundary condition for boundary condition let's suppose we have the soil hill capacity 200 kpa and allowable allowable settlement one inch which is equal to five millimeter so to make the stiffness or the spring constant k is equal to 200 divided by 25 uh, 0.025 the answer will become 800 zero zero kilo newton per meter cube kilo newton per meter cube meter cube so here I am going to define the soil subgrade properties here is already defined I am going to define a new property of soil so our in our case it's 8000 uh, soil capacity divided by uh, bedding capacity divided by allowable settlement so here is our soil 2 uh, 200 megapascal I am clicking ok ok now after that I will select all the slabs uh, foundation slabs and assign um, sport data soil properties slab to 200 GPA ok so at under each boundary conditions it defined successfully now I will define the load combinations here is a load pattern again dead live um, etc so I will just select the load combinations these are the load combinations for the design of our foundation we will select the service load combination so these combinations will not be needed I will define the combinations just for service normal okay means one dead one life okay so now after that I will save the model with the foundation design save after saving the model I will run the analysis and design run run analysis and design first it will run the analysis and automatically after that it will run the design okay so after that we can see the results like display uh, display show reactions mm, definitely that will be same show slab design show punching uh, share design like here the apply load divided by the applied loads divided by the the slab capacity if it's less than one so our punching share is all in all the slabs is okay show the slab design so for the strip base now we will check the FEM final element design top rebar apply here we can check on each slab what is the top rebar so there is much more reinforcement millimeter scale per meter at the center there is less and as we going the away from the center there is much more required uh, in the one direction so let's check in the two direction apply again in the top also require much more enforcement let's check in the bottom in bottoms the bottom needs 2000 millimeter scale 
in the two direction apply so basically in x direction top and bottom in the y direction top and bottom we have checked by fem method apply how much reinforcement is required now we will check by strip method by strip method checking we have to define the strips so let's add it uh, add design strips or you can draw uh, design strips uh, draw design strips so here for example I am defining from here to here enter second from here to here enter first I am defining in the y direction okay now I will define in the x direction here now we have defined the x direction strips and y direction strips so let's check again run the analysis and design okay display show slab design in the slab design now we can check the strip based so in the strip base we can showing the top and bottom rebars apply so here uh, when for example let's check it's a more simple one here this in this strip so here uh, at the top reinforcement requ uh, requirement and this is in the extraction okay this is the both top and bottom let's check only top apply so here is showing the top let's check only bottom so what are the reinforcement in this now we are checking the bottom top and bottom in this direction also okay now I will again save the model basically we have also designed successfully our foundation now I will design the slabs okay uh, basically I will again import now I will go into not foundation design the slab design here is the TV studio open when will open now it's in the new window now I can see in the 3d so these are the columns this is the slab uh, this is the boundary conditions which are showing this under these are the columns so for this purpose for we have to also define the uh, I have to define the strips so edit edit design strips add design strips uh, for example in X direction and strip layer A ok so here you can see now again design strips in the y direction now in the y direction by label B ok you can see also after finding these uh, let's define the load combinations uh, so there is already load combinations are present that's good so for the slab design we have to must check for the ultimate slot so that's why we have selected the 1.4 dead and 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live combinations now each and everything is defined successfully now i am going to save the model in the slab design folder tv studio slab design save after saving I am going to run analysis and design it is showing the deform shape displacement dead millimeter against the red load so we will check the slab design show slab design so we can check the reinforcement just for top rebar in the layer A apply here you can check the top enforcement only present at the uh, sport and in this sport okay 
and now in the B direction apply so here you can also see basically it's showing the top and bottom that's a good thing in the one time okay so now we can also see the detailing now after I am going to run the detailing so so we can check the reinforcement bars in each slab also run detailing it will just take few seconds and generate the drawings so here this is the drawing list what type of drawing is generated slabs beams properties data so let's check the slab views this is the framing plan this is the rebar rebar schedule of quantities showing less so here is basically slab this is showing the slab views this is basically individual slab views like slab one which is we have defined the 200 millimeter slab so this is the showing the rebar plan of all top bottom uh, x and y so for the top rebar plan here is only top rebars for example we can see in detail for example here from this space to this and what are the notations you can check in the general drawings so for example uh, here this section for example first of all check what is the sections here one section is here and one section is here so let's check this is section 2 so let's check section 2 so here in this lab is showing section uh, top reinforcement on this spot and bottom reinforcement passing and again top reinforcement at this spot let's check in this section 1 here see the reinforcements so that's all for the slab design for the more details you can check uh, in the slab man in the documentations you can check the manuals like here are the verification manuals design manual reinforcement concrete all tutorials etc are present you can also uh, visit youtube for more videos uh, on the slab design so thank you that's all allah office